Ashton. 32 for our low tonight. Rain or snow again. Looks like that rain will be to the south, the snow to the north. Tomorrow, 47 for the high. So we are jumping way up with those temperatures. A chance of rain throughout the day here in Spokane and windy conditions. Those winds are picking up out of the southwest. 15 to 25 miles per hour and those gusts near 35 miles per hour. So we are going to see a windy and rainy day tomorrow for your Sunday. Today's high 32 degrees, a low of 24, usually 35 for our high this time of year and 25 for our low. So we are just a little bit below average. But as you saw for tomorrow's highs, we are jumping way above average. 32 right now in Spokane with those uh, rain and snow mixtures out there. Winds out of the east northeast at six miles per hour and Coeur d'Alene 34 degrees. Winds moving north northeast at eight miles per hour. And you can see uh, we do have this winter weather advisory in effect until 11 a.m. on Sunday. Actually in Spokane that's going to expire at 1 a.m. But areas to the north that will be in effect until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Three to six inches for the valleys to the north of Spokane. 12 to 18 inches for the mountains and that's due to that low pressure system that's making its way through the region right now. That should be out of the region by Sunday night. Monday, we are going to start calming down. In Spokane, we're looking at one to three inches for the northern part of Spokane. Areas to the south, looking for a more rain, freezing rain mix. And if you're heading to Seattle, we are going to see impacts on those passes. So if you are traveling, be sure to check with the Department of Transportation before you go because we are going to see snow along those passes. Seattle dealing with its own winter weather advisory as that system makes its way through. That's in effect until 6 p.m. on Sunday, 3 to 6 inches in the valleys near Seattle, 12 to 18 inches for the mountains that you'll be traveling through, and a wind advisory in effect in Seattle tomorrow as well. Winds will be out of the southwest, 25 to 35 miles per hour. Those gusts near 50 miles per hour, so just be prepared if you're going out there for the game. Tonight in the 30s, 32 in Spokane Valley, 32 in Coeur d'Alene. Uh, rain or snow again, that rain looks like it will be to the south, the snow to the north. 44 in Omac, 50 in Moses Lake tomorrow. Possibly some morning snow, mostly sunny by the afternoon though. 47 in Spokane Valley tomorrow, 41 in Newport. Chances of rain throughout the day. Again, those windy conditions. Winds will be out of the southwest with gusts uh, near 35 miles per hour. Rain or snow for the northeast mountains and northern part of uh, Idaho. Snow 4,500 feet for western Montana and rain to the south near Pullman, Moscow, and Lewiston. You can see Lewiston very warm tomorrow at 54 degrees. 50 in Seattle tomorrow, 52 in Portland. 48 in Yakima and as we head through the week we are going to start dropping back to normal. That snow and rain will last into Sunday, possibly into Monday morning before it starts dissipating out of the region. 40 for the high on Monday and then we are going to see those windy conditions starting Sunday. Uh, again, those gusts near 35 miles per hour, but you can see we do quiet down as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Just those chances of some patchy fog in the morning hours before we see another system move in next weekend.